So in this image, you can see that there is some defect over here because of which on either side, because of which the patient's eyes look appear, appear bigger in structure as normal. In addition to that, there is some depressing of the nasal bridge here and the skull over here looks more narrow than what it should be. So, looking at the question, the condition could be either between any of these four. However, over here, mandibular facial dysostosis and Tetra Collins both mean the same. So, you can eliminate both these answers. So, that leaves us between Uppert and Cruzon syndrome. In Uppert syndrome, you could see all these features, in, but in addition to that, you have what is called mitten hand and sock feet appearance. Why? Because there is fusion of the digits of the hand as well as the feet. So, the answer over here will be Cruzon syndrome. Let's look at Cruzon syndrome. It is a rare group and it is caused due to mutation in FGFR2. You need to remember that FGFR is a group, is a gene which is involved in mutation of a lot of um, skull deformities and when it comes to the orofacial region, this FGFR2 plays a very important role. A lot of uh, syndromes are associated with FGFR gene and you need to know the names of this. Some of them are Golden Heart Syndrome, then you even have Carpenter Syndrome and you, in addition to that, you even might, ha you even have a lot of times uh, the cartilage syndrome that is present in which you have that Herculean appearance of the patients. So, you need to remember all of these. So, let's look over here. Facial deformity is observed at birth, followed with time by other features of the syndrome. Coronal and sagittal sutures are obliterated. In this, the coronal suture is the first to close. This was a neat question. And this was asked in, uh, I think, 2016. Yeah. Okay. The forehead is high and wide. Wide face and hypoplastic maxilla. See, the face is wide over here. And the maxilla looks hypoplastic. That is why the eyes look more swollen. That is proptosis is seen. Deviation of the nasal septum, narrow or obliterated anterior nase and wide beat nose are present. Hypertelorism, divergent squint, eyelid seems anti -mongolite. The upper eyelid mimicking a frog face are observed. In addition to this, one more thing that you need, need to remember is on radiographs, you will see a beaten copper appearance appearance of the skull. This was a PGI question. Okay. The upper lip is shortened and is sometimes cleaved. Progressing optic atrophy leads to vision impairment because of the intracranial hypertension. Impairment of hearing indicates disorders of the middle ear. Malocclusion, malpose teeth and dysphagia are noted. All of this means that the patient is going to have difficulty in feeding. As a result of the difficulty in feeding, the patient is going to be malnourished and it's going and he's going to be extreme he or, or they are going to be extremely thin in uh, structure. The orbits are shallow, resulting in characteristic ocular proptosis. This is what we call as ocular proptosis. Okay.